guys, it's Blinky here today, and today I'm gonna guide you through the best dance that I need to use for Dead by Daylight with your Dab or Heart of Hang. Just to clarify before, uh, before I get into the video, um, this might not work as well for deaf players. Just make sure you have a headset that has uh, omnidirectional audio and also provide vibration. So maybe the program, which I'm gonna mention in the video, uh, it can help you out. It's called Breakaway. So just keep that in mind as well. It will work better for hard of hearing gamers who have very little audio or um, lots of hearing loss, get our profound to moderate to nearly deafness. So just keep that in mind as well. Um, this can also work for players who, is, who are looking for better sense setting that to use in general, but that might be like, all right guys, you know, with further ado, let's jump into it. But before we jump into the video, my name's Cam and I work on educational and entertaining content to help the deaf, hard of hearing community and Dead by Daylight players. I'll just do my Twitch from Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays at 9pm Eastern if you want to watch some dope gameplay and ask questions. We hang out in the community discord as well and I post short content on TikTok and more. Check out these links down below in the description. If you want to consider supporting and you enjoy my content, please drop a dub. Thank you guys. Alrighty guys, so let's start off with number one, loudness equalization. This is for your speaker. I got my handy uh, to-do list over here. So we're going to jump into the volume mixer. So you're going to open the volume mixer, go over to your speaker's high definition audio device or whatever speaker that you use mainly. Um, you're going to click over that little speaker and then you're going to go over to enhancement. So when you go over to enhancement, just make sure you have your bass speech and loudness equalization up. So what does equalization do? So what it does, um, it basically boosts up all of your sound settings, um, basically just your audio to a very loud amount. Keep that in mind, you could also experiment by recommending leaving it to default. For, so for a bass boost, this is pretty interesting because it does boost up the lowest frequency that can be played by the device. So this means that uh, if you guys don't know, uh, this viewer, you know, some people watching this video might not know that uh you know hard of hearing players all hear differently we did not hear the same frequencies so um you if you are hard of hearing or if you might be deaf just keep in mind that um you can look at the audio audiologist uh, test and see what is the lowest frequency that you cannot physically hear so this could also help a lot if you go to settings you can actually test and put the frequency that you have the most trouble not being able to hear or the most trouble to hear so you can also experiment with that and experiment with the boost level so just keep in mind don't keep it too high if you are hard of hearing i don't want you you know having your ears bleed or anything um but yeah to keep that in mind as well so yeah so just you know check these and try them out if you do have other options like um an equalizer uh, you can also test it out and experiment with that what an equalizer does is that you can also it's sort of like the bass boost but what an equalizer does is that it boosts certain frequencies and you can make the, you know, the bass very high or low, whatever, and you can experiment with that. I do not have that option, but if you do, feel free to check that out. All right, after that, we're going to go to levels, the level tab, and make sure that your speaker is at 100%. And then go over, go over to advanced and make sure that your sound quality is at the max. So just keep that in mind, so that way you can hear a little bit better and sort of like understand the audio a little bit better. It's going to sound better overall. All right, so that should be it. All right, so next step is to go over to Device Manager. So what we're going to do is search up Device Manager. Go over to your audio input and output. Go over to your high definition audio device and update your driver. You want to make sure your driver is updated to the latest one or the best one there is. So if they are updated, you're good to go. Um, all right, next one is a Discord option. This is a bonus option for people who play with Discord. Um, and usually have, you know, trouble being able to hear their friends over the game since Dead by Daylight is very loud. So I want to keep that, I mean, I, I want to keep that in mind. Um, that this setting is pretty good for those who struggle to hear their friends and stuff like that. So this is called a twitching. I cannot pronounce that word at all. But this is, this is new voice setting to make sure you input it all to a Mac as well. Oh uh, yeah, I'll put it all there, yeah, Mac. Um, like you want to go down to your voice settings until you see this weird bar that can go up to 100. Uh, just, just to keep in mind, what they did, this lowers the volume of any other application. Doesn't matter what it is. It can be a YouTube video, it can be a game, whatever it is. It is the entire speaker that is going to be lowering the volume of all applications 
when people talk in the voice call. This can also be applied when you talk, so that way you can sort of like focus a little bit better. I know that sometimes I struggle sometimes when I'm streaming and when the game is too loud, I tend to like lose focus or whatever and my voice is super loud. So you wanna, um, you can also turn that on if you want. You can also just have it on when other people speak. Just to keep in mind um, that if you put it too high, it's gonna cut out your game volume by 100%. So it's gonna sound really weird and choppy. So just keep, in, keep that in mind. You can just have it at 20% or 30% whatever that you prefer so to keep that in mind um you can also experiment um it's not a bad option i personally do not like it because i'm not used to it so i just lowered the volume and by daylight so i can hear my friends a little bit better so yeah that's it me that should be it that is the bonus setting for discord all right last but not least we're gonna open breakaway so what breakaway is it is a basically an audio equalizer program that you can use um it had a one month trial option so you can try that out you can try that out on the official um website which i have a link in the description down below to check that out if you want to um it is 30 dollars a lifetime so if you do like it after a month of trying it um you can definitely buy it just keep in mind if you don't buy it after a month it's gonna keep bothering you every 30 seconds to turn it back on and it's super annoying when the audio cuts out so just keep that in mind um before we try out check out these little uh, settings and presets we're gonna go to the settings so this, this is what you're gonna see when you see um when you have it open for the first time there's gonna be other options for the setup wizard but this is basically the base thing all right so what we're gonna do is gonna ask you to put your audio device don't just don't pay attention to that the breakaway pipeline pipeline one is actually just like a built-in um audio choice that breakaway makes right so you don't have to change that at all what you want to focus on is your output so you want to make sure that it is on wave not anything else nothing it's just wave make sure that it's wave and then go over to your audio device and make sure it is set to whatever you need um i do not have it to speakers for a reason because i'm using my headset to listen so i set it to speakers of the logitech pro x gaming headset so whatever you need you can also test it out and see if the audio is coming in if it's not you can always go back to the settings and fix the output settings all right, so that should be it um anything else do not change uh you can change it if you are more um knowledgeable about audio itself and if you know how you break away good for you that's really good um but yeah after that that should be good and then what did, what what, uh, what else does it have it basically had three different types of uh you know views or three different types of layout you can use i prefer this one because it's pretty simple and you can see both of the sound waves so the top one is the original input so this when i bypass it when you bypass it it means that you turn it off so if i play one of my videos right uh let me just play one of my videos you notice how it's playing right well it's not really much of a difference because it's probably super loud But now you can tell the difference after I click bypass again. You notice how this part is a lot louder. That's where the breakaway is processing the audio out and it's gonna be quite loud from that end. Okay, so uh, when you click on perfect blend, that's just my preset I'm using. Like a bunch of presets you can use. And when you hover your mouse over it, there's gonna be a explain what it is and what it does. So you can always experiment with the rain, power, speed, bait boost, bait shape. I don't have too much of, you know, too much of setting going on there. It just, I didn't add it, you know, 20 plus bait boost. So it's not really too much of an option. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So you can just experiment with that. Um, overall, Breakaway is a wonderful program. Uh, prop to Death Girl Gaming on Twitch. She is the one that I actually looked into and I realized that she was using the Breakaway program. Somebody redirected uh, me to her and after i started using this it was a lot better for me to use that by daylight and it really does help you know get these little quips you know little sound that i tend to miss out before i started using it so definitely give it a try the link is down in the description below if you do want a full guide about breakaway i can definitely do that for you guys
um but yeah i really hope this help uh these are the base you know the basic dance settings that can basically help i really hope that helped all of you if you guys want a better guide or a more in-depth guide about any of these settings just let me know if you have a question jot, jot, jot them down in the comments below um i'll just do my voice so you can ask the questions there we also got a discord forgot to mention that um you can check out the discord in the description okay thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time hope it helps see ya okay.